another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vincent. I'm an Army veteran. And today we're talking about the VA paid travel reimbursement. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk only on YouTube. And if you're a veteran, would love to share your stories and our resources. And a non-veteran who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that we've gotten all of that out the way, I just want to ask a question to all my fellow vets and caregivers out there. Are you tired of spending your hard-earned money on travel expenses to and from your appointment? Well, guess what? You may be eligible for a VA travel pay reimbursement. Yes, a VA travel pay reimbursement. That's right. The VA offers travel reimbursement for mileage and other travel expenses for approved healthcare appointments. And the best part is it's easy to file a claim. And if you're eligible, you can file a claim for a general healthcare travel reimbursement online. This includes regular transportations like cars, planes, trains, buses, taxi, or light rail, and approved meals for lodging expenses. To file a claim, simply sign into your beneficiary travel self-service system with your existing login.gov, IDME, DS, logon, and my Healthy Vet account. Don't have any of these accounts? No problem. You can create a free login at login.gov for an account. It is important to note that not all veterans and caregivers are eligible for travel pay reimbursement. To find out if you're eligible and learn more about this process, visit va.gov website. So why not take advantage of this awesome benefits? Say goodbye to those pesky travel expenses and hello to some extra cash in your pocket. Happy travels. So now I, what I'm going to do is, man, like I always do, I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step journey of how to go about applying for your benefits. What drew, what drew this question um, or topic up for me would be me reading something about Uber partnering with the VA to help veterans with travel. I thought that was pretty cool. And you know what? Instead of taking to the VA.gov, I'm going to go ahead and take you to the actual article so you can see what I'm talking about. I think Florida is on to something. I think Florida is on to something because for them to start a partnership that allows veterans to get free rides to their appointments, I think that's pretty cool that they did this, you know, and I think that's pretty dope for those veterans who need it because there are a lot of veterans out there who may not have the necessary means to travel to their VA appointments. So for West Palm, Florida to start this process for veterans, I think that is pretty cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like I always do. I'm going to put this um, in the description box so that you can see and hear more about it. Because I think it's pretty cool that West Palm would step up to the plate and do this for veterans. That's pretty cool. So shout out to the VA and West Palm Beach, which is in South Florida, for those veterans out there. Because, again, that's something that's pretty cool and neat that they did. And we thank you for that. We appreciate you for that. Because as we all know as veterans, we're not entitled to anything. We don't believe that we should be just given anything. But because there are services and things out there for us, we love to take advantage of what's given to us. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, that's what you do when somebody puts something out there for you. You don't sit on your um, hands and say, well, I don't want that. No, you take advantage of it and you use it for to the best of your abilities because a lot of times these benefits and all these things that we we're receiving – it's bigger than just us, the veteran. It's about our family, us being able to take care of our family. And that's what's most important for us as veterans. I know it's most important for me and my family because I like to ensure that because of some of my limitations, I have the necessary means um, to take care of my family. So let's get into this um, VA.gov website. And so you can find out more information about your VA travel pay and reimbursement. So the VA travel pay reimbursement pays eligible veterans and caregivers back for mileage and other travel expenses to and from approved healthcare appointments. Find out if you're eligible and how to file. File a claim. 
So what you would do is file a claim by clicking on file a claim for general health care travel reimbursement online. General health care travel reimbursement covers these expenses for eligible veterans and caregivers, regular transportation such as car, plane, train, bus, taxi, a light rail, approved meals, and logging expenses. You can file a claim online through the beneficiary travel self-service system. And you can do so by clicking on this green box right here, signing in. Again, if you don't have access to the actual VA.gov website, you can use um, a login um, at login.gov ID me, which I have a video for that down in the video section. You can find out um, more information about that. Then they have the DS log on and the My Healthy Vet account. And if you don't have any of these accounts, you can create a free login at login.gov or ID me account now. So it's free to sign up. You can go do that. And it says filing a travel pay claim for the first time. Keep reading to find out if you're eligible and what to know before you file your claim. Eligibility for general health care travel reimbursement for veterans. As veterans, you may be eligible for reimbursement if you meet the requirements listed here this must be true you're traveling for care at a va health facility or for a va approved care at a non va health facility in your community so it doesn't have to just be you going to the va as they state it can be a non va health facility in your community and at least one of these must be true. You have a VA disability rating of 30% or higher, or you're traveling for a treatment for a service-connected condition, even if your VA disability rating is less than 30%, or you receive a VA pension, or you have an income that's below the maximum annual VA pension rate, or you cannot afford to pay for travel as defined by our guidelines, or you're traveling for one of these reasons, a scheduled VA claim exam, also called a compensation and pension or a CNP exam to get a service dog or for a VA approved transplant care. For caregivers, we may pay for transportation and related lodging and meals for non-veteran if the person meets any of these requirements, at least one of these must be true. The person is your family caregiver under the National Caregiver Program travel to receive caregiver training or to support your care, or the person is your medically required attended travel with you to support your care, or the person is your transplant care donor our support person. We may pay for care for all allied beneficiary when appropriate foreign government agency has approved their care or for the beneficiary or another federal agency when the agency has approved their care. There it goes. What to do before you file your first claim. Set up direct deposits. We can then deposit your reimbursement into your bank account. Learn how to set up direct deposit for a VA travel pay reimbursement. Keep your receipt for all transportation and approved meals or lodging and track your mileage to and from your point. Find out what expenses we pay for and current mileage ratings. Be sure to file claims on time. You must file within 30 days of your appointment or when you become eligible for reimbursement. File a claim for each appointment. Get a step-by-step -step instruction for how to file a travel play claim online. So one of the things I do want to put out there is um, at every VA regional medical center, you can actually file for your mileage there at the VA. I think sometimes that would be more easier for you and more accessible because now you have somebody actually on hand where they can help you out. And all you have to do is just ask your doctor, ask a nurse, ask somebody who's in the VA with you at the time around you as far as, you know, somebody who works within the VA, a staff member, 
and they can assist you with this because again, you can do this at the VA. You don't have to necessarily do it offline, but then I understand there are those veterans who are in a situation where they might've gone to an outside doctor and they're not currently at the VA, or you may be one of those personnel who's on the time restraint to where you're receiving care right then and there. And you don't have time to do it because you got to get back in the car so that whoever brought you here can take you back to where you need to be. So again, I understand that there, there are those situations to where you're going to need to use online. Um, methods to apply for your reimbursement but again online is also accessible and readily available for your situation too so as you look and you see on my screen you can see all of these different tabs and different things you can click on um and they also have a va online travel pay reimbursement claim instructional video on youtube to where if you click on it it takes you to YouTube where they actually have a um a step by step video and I'm going to play it. Um just wanted you to know that I'm not affiliated with the VA nor do I work for the VA nor am I an employee for the VA. I'm just a veteran that loves to help veterans. So let's listen to this video real quick. It's only two minutes and then we're gonna get off. I am Wayne with Veteran Affairs, Veterans Health Administration. This is an introduction video for a five-part series. VTS-3 is the VA's preferred method to submit claims and supporting documentations for reimbursement for healthcare travel. This includes transportation expenses such as miles driven in your own vehicle, tolls, parking, authorized hotel stays and meals with receipts and authorized public transportation. You may be eligible for travel reimbursement if you have a disability rating of 30% or higher, or are traveling for a service-connected disability, or receive VA pension. To check your eligibility, you'll want to go to www.va.gov and search travel pay reimbursement. Now that you know what expenses are reimbursable and who is eligible for beneficiary travel benefits, Let's get back to talking about the Beneficiary Travel Self-Service System and why, if you're not using it, you should be. There are many benefits to using BTS3, such as the ability to log on anytime and anywhere with your personal computer, tablet, or smartphone. The system works for both Android and iPhone users. Other features include the ability to track your claim, quickly and easily file a claim using pre-filled information, and faster payment using direct deposit. If you choose to file using the paper form 103542 instead, it may take up to 45 days or longer to process your claim. Claims filed with BTS3 on average process in three to five days if filled out correctly. Join me in our next video to learn how to create your logon to gain access to the beneficiary travel system. Thank you for watching. So that was a pretty cool instructional video that gave you just a basic overview of what the VA travel pay reimbursement system is all about. Again, you can find that video on YouTube. I'm going to put it in the description for those who want to actually look at that video and find out more information about how, where, and what. So this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince from Vet Talk. As always, good people, Vet Talk out.